good morning everyone it is day two of our little excursion in granville ohio we um, are on our way just walking around downtown it's such a gorgeous day um, behind me is a sign for an ice cream shop that was really hopping yesterday and i'm hoping that we'll get to stop over there later today as it's supposed to be nice and warm so i'm looking forward to that and i'll take you along are this is Gumas I think Candyland so we're gonna head in there in a second um, don't know if I'll be able to film or not and then Reader's Garden bookstore um, Candyland is open I don't know if the uh, bookstore is open because today is Sunday all right yeah we're inside look at how cute this is this little candy shop it's Gumas Candyland in Granville and there's uh, Mr. Mimi over there hanging out looking at the candy <laughs> We'll see what goodies we can find. Mmm, looky looky. Are you still looking or is that all for you? Okay. We'll be at 1265. I see. Stuff back here to buy. This is I'm still in the candy shop. Isn't this fun? This is where I'm headed. Can you believe it? Look how fun that's gonna be. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Okay. It's like four. <laughs> It's a gorgeous day. This little tail's bent. Huh. That's what I thought. But those are little Dorothy Thorpe glasses. And I was right. Like a little card catalog. 100. Big cutter quilt for 20. See? Five ranges in the pot. I think it's decoration. Dog is cute. Ah, the dough bowl.
you said that you think that there, that other thing was like at 600? on down to Johnstown, Ohio to visit an antique store. So this is kind of cute. I think there's a couple shops we can visit here. All right, I'm in Antiques on Main in Johnstown. Really fun, nicely um, displayed items in here. Very cool vibe. I like it a lot. I'm giving you a little overview and then I'll walk around and show you different things as I see them. Might have to do a voiceover on this, but I tell you guys all the time how much I love hat stands. Look at that. $48 on that. It's amazing. You know, I actually like the display that they have this on. It's newer. You can tell that they did the finish on it, but I really like it. So I had a fun little time in Johnstown. Um, that antique store was very cool. Really beautiful aesthetic inside. Prices were good for collectors and other people, not for me. <laughs> so I didn't pick up anything there. But I did go two doors down to a little garage sale store. I didn't film in there at all, but I did talk to the proprietor. His name is Conrad. And um, I picked up quite a few wonderful things at really good prices, so that was fun. Um, so yeah, definitely worth a little side trip into Johnstown. What an amazing evening. The weather is so perfect that we are eating outside at the Granville Inn. It's going to be wonderful. I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey everyone, it's Cindy with Mimi's Treasure Cottage and I am on the final day of my fun little birthday excursion. We are leaving the Granville Inn right now and we are heading to Heath, Ohio to go to a cute little antique store called Finders Keepers. Hopefully I'll be able to take you along for that ride too. So that was a really cute store. It's a combination craft mall and antique store. And I think for that reason, they did not want me to film in there because there are a lot of handcrafted, handmade things and artists, being one I understand, don't want their artwork to be copied. So hence that policy. But I did pick up a few good things, so let me share with you. All right, so I may have mentioned this before and you guys be, may be also well aware of this, but these beaded, oh, let's put it back here. These beaded flowers, um, they are antique definitely very vintage if not antique um, and they are up there in value so I picked this up I think I paid eight dollars for it I can expect to probably get twenty twenty five dollars out of that so I was really happy with that piece <gasps> this next item that I picked up may be my favorite thing that I picked up there because oh my gosh you guys look how cute this is let's get it where you can see it 
There we go. <laughs> Look, they're little suck face ducks. I just love them. Um, there's nothing written on them. They're in really good condition. Oh, yeah, they are. It says something on the... Oh, it does say Japan. Okay. It says Japan on the bottom. Um, obviously, one is missing a cork, but, you know, I mean, I couldn't pass up the suck face ducks. <laughs> So you know I love pigs, right? So I couldn't leave these behind. These are adorable, they're plastic. They're made in Hong Kong, but so cute. I'm gonna bring them closer, but they're gonna be in the sun. You're not gonna see them. Well, maybe you will. Look how cute they are. So cute. I thought these were absolutely adorable. Look at these, these are three little records. This one is the swing. I thought the imagery on there was just stinking cute. Look at this, Walt Disney Sammy. Look at him, oh my gosh, adorable. But this one is the one that actually got my attention and got me looking at these records. Look at this one, this Puss in Boots in the green color with the black cats. Um, I know that we are passing, by the time you see this video, Halloween may have come and gone, but doesn't that look like a great Halloween decoration? I just loved it, so grab those. I got this hard, hard plastic Santa. I'm not sure who made him. You know, Ross Bros are credited with most of these things, but and I'm not even sure what he really was. Maybe a light um, cover? But he has this odd little thing at the top don't know what that's about but I thought he was adorable and he does stand really well so he would make a great vintage uh, addition to decor I saw this and I had to get this is one of the first things that I got isn't this cute it is a, a softer plastic boot so maybe just a little bit newer than the ones we're familiar with but it was a plant pick or like a floral pick um, that somebody turned into a an ornament but I thought it was adorable so I grabbed that all right, so always look at the bags of stuff, you guys. So this bag had a whole bunch of these little kind of newer um, wooden ornaments. They're not really my thing, but do you see this one up here? I'll take it out for you in a second. I bought the whole bag for that one little ornament. Look at how cute that is. Definitely vintage definitely amazing so I paid six dollars for the whole bag and this one ornament is worth that and probably three times that <laughs> so I was happy to grab that all right that was that shop we are on the road again I think we're heading to Mansfield on Ohio on our way home so we're gonna stop there and see what else we can find all right let's go downstairs and see what we can find I see. You want the pounded rock? Too? Little Mobley guy up there. How much is he? Oh, look at that. I've already shopped upstairs and picked up some goodies, but I thought I'd take you guys along down here. This is the basement of um, Mid Ohio Antique Mall in Mansfield, Ohio. Wow, that's such a neat, it's a print, but it's very cool. The poets, they wanted 25 for the poets. Six dollars for that duck up there. Oh, I like these a lot. They are $5 for all. Guys, these are awesome for um, display for 4th of July. I'm going to grab those for sure. $5 for all is a great price. All right, it may just be me because I love the Fenton white hobnail. Um, but wow, this huge basket is amazing. 
they only want $15 for it. This little one is only $4, you guys. And it is also um, Fenton, at least I'm pretty sure it's Fenton. It's the same exact thing as this, <laughs> just smaller. Oh, and there we have Cupid Asleep. That's 10. It's a very famous um, print. All right, I see all kinds of fun things over here that we have to look at. I see that little red flocked boot in there. I'm not interested in those ornaments. There's nothing special there, but the flocked boot is kind of fun. It'd be fun for crafting. I don't know how much they want for that. Ooh, look at this Noma. Oh, unfortunately the box is in rough shape and it's just the box. Not that that has stopped me before, but um, kind of needs to be in good shape if that's what I'm buying it for. Same thing here. This box is in somewhat rough condition. It's $20. So we'll be leaving that. I do like it. I like it a lot. And I have been known to repair boxes. But I do have quite a huge um, project pile going on right now. And I really don't want to add anything else to my project pile. Because I just don't have time to do it. Oh, look. Those are broken. This little figure old guy is kind of fun. Oh, he's plastic. If he were glass, he would have been very exciting. I do see something I'm interested in over here. Let's look at that. This is a shadow box. They want $25 for it. We've got a, a lace uh, ornament thing there with a mercury ball on it. we got a cupcake pick, an old car, two cupcake picks. And then this antique um, ornament in a wood box. That's probably a good price, but I'm not going to pull the trigger on that. Not going to do it. And then we got more girly candles. I think I looked at this a minute ago. Oh, that one's broken too. Broken as well. What do we got over here? Her, what's in here? Let's see what's in this little box. Basket, box, basket, you know, me and words. Here's another one. Oh, that's fun. I like that. I think it's an old card. I wonder what they're asking for this. And look at this light set here. That's one I haven't seen before. 25. I'm sure that's spot on. This might go a little bit higher than that. Um, but again, since I've never done it, I'm not sure. They do have those really fun textured light bulbs on them. It's a beautiful box. Beautiful box. Let's see what we got here. Flocked apples. Three dollars for a box of flocked apples. I feel like that's a good deal. Might have to do that. And what do we got in here? We got a a light. Not really a reflector, but same idea. Some broken pieces. This fragile one I can't look at. Oh, it's just a big bulb. I don't want to cut myself either. There's a lot of broken pieces in here. Alright, I'm digging down here in the basement. Do you see that? That is under the table. I'm zoomed way in, so the, I'm, I'm going to try to see if I can find out what that is. Ooh, this is a cool piece. I think I just saw somebody have something like this. This is, um, it's in poor condition, though. 
um, but it is Victorian $20 but the lid is broken as you can tell very neat piece the Mickey birthday plate ah, look at Santa oh my gosh Santa I think says $15 let's check that out oh my gosh $15 I don't have one like him He's coming home for my collection. He's fabulous. Oh my gosh. Love him. This garlic guy is cute. He's $9. He's missing a lot of cold paint though. I don't know where to set that. There we go. No marks on him. We'll leave him there. But I like him. I like him. And Tickle Bee. Oh. What is Tickleby? He wiggles and jiggles and scoots along. Watch out, he'll sting you if you tickle him wrong. And I'm dropping. You guys, I have nowhere to do this one-handed. <laughs> Let's put him over here. Oh, that's cute. I think I've seen these before, just these, not with the box. But the box is fabulous. I usually... I have bad luck when I buy games and toys and stuff so I'm gonna leave that there as fabulous as it is he's gonna stay there up here we've got an Exxon glass tiger for five dollars I think that's a good deal on that at any rate I can always give it to my daughter her team mascot is um, the tiger. She likes that kind of stuff. Look at all of her other smalls. Of course, you guys know this is my thing. I love them. Look at this bird. Bird is cool. There's not much room for me on that bird, so I won't be getting the bird, but I do like it. It's fun for crafts, too. What's this? I see some Starbucks mugs, but... I know that some of them can have some value, but I don't know enough about them. <laughs> this skier went into the side and out came his skis on the other side. That's funny. <laughs> oh, and we've got a Ray Dunn double, double trouble boil and whatever. Anyway, it says toil and trouble. All right, so I see a deer planter there. I might take a risk on the deer planter. It is higher price than I really want to pay. It's $20. If it were $15, I would jump on it. I think it's probably a $30 or $35 piece for me. Um, I might take a risk on it. I have not yet decided. Got a shiny bright tree box. It's a great box. I think inside we have just um, the pink bulbs. I'm going to open it up here in a second and look and see what I can find. I'm tempted on this, $14. Um, there's a little room, not a whole lot of room, but I love the box, and I don't come across the box in this good a condition very often. Um, almost never. I, yeah, who, am I, who am I kidding? Almost never have I come across one in that good a condition, so I might consider doing it for that reason, but I'm going to look at the bulbs and see. All right, first of all, I'm standing by a dehumidifier, so it's loud. Um, and it's not moist down here at all, by the way, probably because they're on top of that. But what I was going to say is, if you guys like to dig, oh my gosh, there are things to find. And it's not crazy. I mean, it's organized, but yet there's still places for you to dig if you like that sort of thing. So I think that you would really enjoy this, and I think that there are bargains to be had um, here. So if you are in the Mansfield area, you might want to come check it out. It's a great little fun place. I'm having a ball. You just don't know what you're going to find. Look at this Lucite um, very day glow color chair. I can't tell. I think it says 460. I, I was having a hard time determining if it was 60 or 460. I think it's 460. Um, 
which would not surprise me because that's in really good condition. It's a really nice piece. Very, very fun. Look at all these wonderful old radios. Um, this one's 65. I can't read the one down there. This one's 35, 45. Look at how cool they are. I just love the look of these old radios. Oh my goodness. All right. Eight dollars, probably because it's newer. I'm not going to pick it up. It's not the aesthetic I'm looking for, but eight dollars. This is cool. Frequency modulation. I don't know what they want on this. Uh, I'm not seeing a price. I don't see a price on that. I just, I, I like that a lot. Very cool. Very neat. Then we have some beautiful lamps back here. Look at this one. Look at that gorgeous glass on there, you guys. Isn't that fabulous? This lamp is $65. Wow. I can't do it. And I wouldn't know where to start as far as... Uh, look at that cord. As far as... Um, what's it called? Lamp shades. All right, I don't know why this made me laugh, but it did. We're using a glass caddy for a brake, brake fluid um, container. <laughs> That's funny. And then we have the saltines um, tins, $25 a piece or for two? I can't read it. I found a hidden cubby of Santas. I have to pull them out of there and see what they are. Hello, Santa. All right, I got down, looked at them. They're all candles, so we're going to leave them there. Nothing that I'm terribly interested in, so they're staying. All right, so that does it for this trip. <laughs> Bought a lot of great stuff, had a really wonderful time, spent some time with the hubs. I'm going to turn it to you. Oh, boy, here we go. Yay! <laughs> so it was fun. Thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and a comment, and I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.